Understanding Rope of Sand, a guide to figurative language. Hello and welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're diving into the intriguing phrase, rope of sand. This expression is a classic example of figurative language, and understanding it can greatly enhance your comprehension and enjoyment of English literature and conversation. Let's unravel the meaning together. Before we explore rope of sand, it's crucial to understand what figurative language is. Figurative language uses words or expressions with a meaning different from the literal interpretation. It often involves metaphors, similes, idioms, and hyperbole. These tools make language more vivid, imaginative, and impactful. At first glance, rope of sand seems like a straightforward phrase. A rope is a strong, flexible line of material, typically used for tying or binding. Sand, on the other hand, is a granular material composed of finely divided rock and mineral particles. By themselves, these objects are familiar, but when combined, they form an oxymoron or a contradiction. Figuratively, a rope of sand represents something that appears strong or coherent but is actually weak and ineffective. Just as it's impossible to make a sturdy rope out of sand, the phrase symbolizes efforts or relationships that lack substance and are unable to withstand challenges. It's often used to describe futile endeavors or fragile alliances. Let's see how rope of sand can be used in sentences. Their agreement was like a rope of sand, easily broken when pressure was applied. Trying to organize the event without a plan was like making a rope of sand. In these examples, the phrase vividly conveys the fragility and impracticality of the subjects. I hope this exploration of rope of sand has been enlightening. Remember, understanding phrases like this can enrich your English learning journey, adding depth and color to your communication. Keep exploring and see you in the next video.